I'm beginning the drawer construction for this Sheraton bowed chest of drawers. And I've already done some of the veneering on the front of, uh, of the top drawer front. This is only the drawer front, and what I'm trying to do before I do any of the veneering, I'm working to get the drawer front. This is, of course, a bowed front, and I bandsawed this, uh, these drawer fronts from uh, poplar, yellow poplar, and so I'm sizing the drawer front so that it will go into the slot fairly easily. I don't want it real tight. I want it to be able to go. There'll be, after the drawer construction, there'll be some hand planing of the surfaces to get the final shaping. But now I've got all four drawers, drawer fronts, sized up. And uh, I'll begin then to do the veneering pattern on each of these other drawer fronts. There are several veneers here. The middle panel is big leaf maple crotch uh, veneer. Then there's a cross banding of mahogany around the boundary. So the grain direction is cross grain here with some miter joints in the corner. And then there's also these uh, quarter shapes in each of the corners and I placed some satin wood into those corners. There will be a holly banding that goes uh, around the boundary and I haven't done that yet although the space is there now to place that holly in there. The other thing is that the back, the back of the drawer front is also veneered, not for good looks um, and beauty, rather to have the same uh, same kind of construction on the back face as on the front face veneering on both of those faces with all the high glue and so on so that the humidity absorption into the wood is equalized and not just uh, open more on the back side than the front side. So it's, uh, it's protection to keep the same shape and size in weather conditions that, that I've also veneered the back. So uh, the next step then is to uh, you know, clean up the bandsawed face. I'm using spoke shaves and files to uh, smooth these bandsawed faces and then I use a toothing plane to prepare the surface for the veneer. On the inner face, I can't use the toothing plane because it's flat, so I use a file to rough up the, the back side for the veneer here. <coughs> 